Welcome back to 100 Lies That God Culture Teaches About the Philippines. Today's lie concerns Ferdinand Pinto's shipwreck on the Lequius Islands. Timothy J. Schwab claims that Pinto located the Lequius Islands at coordinates that match the Philippines and concludes that the Philippine Islands are the Lequius Islands. But as we shall see that is a lie. This lie can be found on page 163 of Timothy J. Schwab's book The Search for King Solomon's Treasure. Tim's source for this claim that Ferdinand Pinto located the Lequius Islands at 9N20 is J.G. Chiak's book Phoenicians and the Land of Gold. Take note that Tim is citing Chiak who is citing Rebecca Katz's translation of the travels of Mendez Pinto. Why didn't Tim cut out the middleman and cite Rebecca Katz directly? Also take note that there is no page number given for Chiak's citation of Katz. In her book it looks like this. Chiak claims Rebecca Katz is where she got Pinto locating the Lekowis Islands at 9N20. What is 9N20 anyway? 9 is a northern latitude but what is 20? Longitude? Which direction? East or west? On its face 9N20 is gibberish and not coordinates at all. The fact is 9N20 does not appear anywhere in Katz's translation whatsoever. Here is what her translation actually says. This Ryukyu island is situated at 29 degrees latitude. That's right. Along with everyone else in the world Rebecca Katz identifies the Lequius Islands with the Yukyu Islands which are off the coast of Japan going towards China. Now let's take a look at the first English edition of Pinto's Travels and see what it says. We must understand then that this island of Lequius, situated in 9 and 20 degrees, is 200 leagues in circuit, 3 score in length, and 30 in breadth. Here we see that he locates the Lekhawis Islands at 9 and 20 degrees. Somehow 9 and 20 became 9 and 20 and now this mistake is being passed off as truth by Timothy J. Schwab and J. G. G. Ark. This first edition English translation of 1663 has this story which Chiark claims was too outrageous to be included and so was censored. In his journal he had the audacity to give details on Lekhawis putting it in the latitude of 9N20 on a meridian similar to that of Japan. Given these directions, Lequius would be at the very heart of the Philippines. The story of his shipwreck on Lequius was deemed so outrageous that it was omitted from his book when it was first published. J.G. Chiak is wrong and Tim is wrong because he cites her. If the God Culture were an actual group of researchers and not just one man it is doubtful this mistake would have been made. Surely someone on the team would have gone looking for the original source rather than rely on a second-hand citation. But Tim is on record saying it does not matter if he cites sources second-hand because they always say what he claims they say. However, a Pharisee looks at that and scoffs. <laughs> well, you could have used a better source. Why is your font so small on that screen? That one quote doesn't say that, though it always does say exactly what we represent, by the way, because it always vets every single challenge has. That map that shows those islands southeast of China's not really showing southeast of China. That's, well, India. Huh? No, it's southeast of China. That's what the map shows. Duh. And that map, and that map, and those directions, and those directions, and oh, that font should be larger, and yeah, you should have quoted that differently, and I mean, that's the kind of stuff that you get for going out, stepping out on a limb, and doing the research, and telling people what is truth, and we prove it. Those same people don't even bother to actually review the whole case. No, 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 they'll watch one brief one brief video or a few brief videos and then go and just ramble on and on and on. And they are absolutely ignorant. They don't even know what we prove, what we don't prove. But all along they'll say, oh, so you didn't prove that. Well, how would you know what we prove? You didn't even review the case. But it doesn't matter because it's not their point. 
they throw it all out in ignorance, haven't even reviewed the case, yet they know, because they know what we're going to prove, because they have what basis? Absolutely none. You used a font too small. Throw it out. Really? You quoted a secondary source citing the original, oh, which happens to be true, and in representation, representation actually match the original. Duh. I mean, could you be more ridiculous yet? We get all of this. As you can see, Tim did not step out and do any research when it comes to Ferdinand Pinto's locating the Lekowis Islands. Instead, he relies on Giac and he gets it wrong and now this lie is a part of his monumental case for the Philippines no one can disprove. This is why primary sources are imperative. He would know that if he was a real researcher but Timothy J. Schwab is no researcher. He is a propagandist. Tim makes this same claim about Pinto locating the Lequius Islands at 9N20 in a video where he gives a source very different from JGG arc. Pinto even goes as far as to give the exact location, latitude of the main Lucos Island as modern day Luzon, Philippines. In fact, if you follow his directions exactly, and we'll do that later you will end up in northwest Luzon or Ilocos specifically. The source here is ancientphilippines.blogspot.com. He also has a very long citation as if he were actually citing page 262 of the 1663 English translation of Pinto's travels but he is definitely not citing it. That citation is not to be found on the ancient Philippines blog site. As I showed above on page 188 Pinto locates the Lequius Islands at a latitude of 29 north. It just goes to show that accurately citing primary sources is very important. So where exactly do the coordinates 9N20 put you anyway? Central Africa. That's a long way from the Philippines.